This is the subsystem for robot assembly. Taking the subsystems that you've built and putting them all together. So the pieces you're gonna need, first we're gonna start off with the chassis. You're gonna need a 29 hole C-channel and two 16 hole C-channels. First thing we're gonna do is take these two 16 hole C-channels and we're going to place them on the front closest bar this way. They should be inside and only require one fourth inch screws. These are going to go on seven holes in this way. And then you're going to skip two holes and do the next one. This one is going to go here, two one fourth inch screws. Now we're going to keep these loose for now. Now, as you can see, we're going to skip two holes here and attach this onto the next two. Then you're going to take a C-channel, doesn't matter which one. On the top two holes, you're going to stick a screwdriver or a screw, either one through. The entire thing, to hold it in place, and you're going to hold these two together, and you're going to tighten them. Just like that, you can take it out. Then you're going to take two half inch standoffs and two one fourth inch screws and we're going to attach one of them on the upper hole six holes back from the front. Do the same thing right next to it. One back it should be right directly over the screw hole. Then you're going to take 29 and you're going to take another half inch standoff and you're going to screw this three holes up from the bottom. So it's something like this. Then you're going to screw this on on the second hole, two holes from the bottom. Now I'm going to keep these loose and use a right angle to square this to the chassis. Next, we're going to get the flywheel assembly and attach it to the robot. We're going to start by turning this around. Placing this like so. You can see this is going to fit directly between these two holes. You're going to use a 3 4 inch standoff and a one spacer. I go right in between this C channel. If needed, you can take the flywheel off forehand and apply this. One tip is in. You rest it nicely in between. For this, you're going to need a four, two fours, and two threes spacers. These need to be the smaller spacers, not the thick spacers. You're also going to need a 1.5 inch screw and a 1.25 inch screw. You're going to take one three and one four, and you're going to stick it between this, the C channel, the four hole C channel. You're going to do the same thing for the other four hole C channel. You can take the 1.25 inch screw and attach it to on the side without the one spacer running through the channel. And then you're going to take the 1.5 inch screw and screw this into the other side. And then you're going to tighten these down. And you flip it over. And they should at least attempt to fit nicely here. For this, you're going to use two 1.25 inch screws and two threes and two fours again. 
You stick the two threes and two fours into the channel. And have the 1.5 inch screw go through. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Then you're going to adjust this length until they attach the second hole in the flywheel. It might take a little maneuvering, but they should be able to go in pretty nicely. Then you're going to do cap nuts or lock nuts, whatever, whichever you prefer, onto the end of these 1.25 inch screws. Next, we're going to attach a standoff to connect this, which is pretty nicely in a position. This is going to be a half inch standoff. And we need two one fourth inch screws. This half inch standoff will go in the far hole and screw directly. Then we need another screw and attach that to the bottom of this. For that, you can flip this over. Next, we're going to a five inch standoff and a 1.5 inch standoff and a coupler. For this, you're going to need a large coupler, a small coupler, a five inch standoff, and a 1.5 inch standoff. This is going on this side over here. I'm going to take a large coupler and connect the 1.5 inch standoff and the five inch standoff. Once this is tightened together, we'll take this small coupler, attach it to the five inch standoff, and do the same collar technique we did for the front funnel. This one here, this one here. You can take a collar <coughs> out the insert, and you're going to spin it on to the coupler. Then you're going to Tighten this down. Directly above the connection on the middle hole, which is on the 13th hole back. For this, we're going to take a half inch screw and a catch nut and tighten it onto the second hole back. This should make this be sturdy. Now that that is completed, we're going to add the intake on. We get the intake assembly. And we're going to slide this into the position that it's, what it's supposed to be in. It's going to be a tight fit, but it is a necessary one. Use an important screw. This is going to be a difficult fit. It might take a few tries. Then we're going to test the one inch standoff on the 11th hole. And then on the bottom, we're going to put a screw on the first middle hole. Line pretty well to the hole. And then this is all not perfect, so it might take some force to get it correct. And that should secure it in. Well, now I'm just retightening this. And this will screw into here. And that concludes the assembly.